Welcome to Blaze Park, where tonight Mals will face off against St Blazy in the Cornwall Senior Cup. It's a competition that the Seagulls have never won, and with the added incentive of the final being at Troy City's new ground, everyone's delighted to be back in this competition. What does the Cornwall Senior Cup mean to Mausel? Everything. More than 100 years of history, and we've only made the final once. We're the, we're the second most senior team in Cornwall. It's about time we put our name on that trophy. I think it means a lot to Mazel. They've not won a trophy for a while, and it'll be the first senior, I believe, the first senior trophy. And it's a real good opportunity for them to win it. And I think the players want it, the management want it, and as the general, the club wants it. So I think it's very important. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Blaze Park for tonight's Cornwall Senior Cup tie versus Mazel. Malz who have had the most chances in this first half but it's still only a goal to nil and I want to get a few more goals in the second half if they are to put this game to bed and progress.
Blaze Park and Mousel have beaten St Blaise by six goals to one. A dominant second half performance and a Torin and Tege hat trick means that Mousel will go into Saturday's game on a high against Bristol Manor Farm. Torin, great result, three goals for you. How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. You know, the team teamed it really well against an opposition that were, you know, young, had a lot of energy and yeah, team done well to, you know, score five goals early on. A little bit, you know, that's a day school and conceding, but happy with the result. You seem to be playing with a smile on your face. Do you enjoy your football here? Yeah, I'm enjoying it very much. Um, you know, the boys are really welcoming and yeah, the game plan works very well and gets me in behind a lot. I score a lot of goals and I'm enjoying scoring and assisting with my teammates. And yeah, it's really, it's really a family and, you know, it shows on the pitch. So yeah, I just want to carry on, take that into Saturday and hopefully we can win and push up on the league. Thanks, Tori. Jake, great win into the next round. How are you feeling? Yeah, really pleased. Um, some um, real, like what, you know, it's easy to say after you win, but I thought some blazy. We knew it'd be difficult tonight and uh, they made it really hard in the first half. Um, we got in a few good positions and, and had a lot of the ball, but they had some good, you know, some good opportunities as well. So a yeah, really good young group and it's great, you know, it's always a great venue to come and play. It's a good draw for us, you know, pitch is good and you know, it's a good club. So, um, you know, it was a nice one for us to look forward to after, after Saturday. Um, we said at half time just about how we should approach the second half in terms of our forward play, our forward passes, and where the runs needed to be coming from, and the little patterns that needed to come out. And I thought it was really pleased in the second half. Saw a lot of it. Um, so yeah, no, really, really good. Good to get Jack Calver back on the pitch as well. It's a big boost. Um, good to get through. And, and yeah, it's, not, you know, it's nice to win a game. Um, and, I, and I thought second half we were we were good. Dis we're disappointed with the goal, and I want the boys to be disappointed with the goal. Because it was uh, it was a moment where they switched off, and we can't do that in the league. We got away with it tonight because we got ourselves in a good position in the game, but we can't afford to do that in in the league. So I want them to be relentless in in those high standards. But they were really good in possession second half, and some good, really good individual performances out there as well today. So that's a pleasing one. I think we can see an improvement in finishing by the scoreline. Did you see an improvement out there? Yeah, I, I think we we I'd like to see us still be more purposeful in the final third when we get in and around the box whether it's just a little shift to get a shot away you know I think sometimes we try to find the extra pass um, still but you know Torin, Torin when he gets presented with an opportunity he's you know he's got a really good strike rate I thought his cut back for Ollie's goal as well showed real intelligence um, so yeah it, a, an improvement obviously you no know, Hayden tonight as well who's you know who's good and, and Goldie's obviously brought us a lot of goals so we've got real forward options um, and yeah, we've said to them they have to be more direct and, and, and more purposeful in the final third. And, and I thought we saw it in stages a little bit on, on, um, on Saturday, but yeah, no, it really came out second half, so that was pleasing. Thanks, Jake.